today we're going to talk about fear and how that might limit you. Hi, my name is Jim Distortion. If you've not seen my videos before, please press the subscribe button and also press the little bell because once you do that, you'll be told every single time I upload content. Well, fear is a weird thing, isn't it? Fear of the dentist, right? I'm in my van and I'm sat outside this morning and I'm uh, just about to go into the dentist and have two fillings and a root canal done, okay? And there's a certain tangible fear about it all. I'm, you know, sitting here a bit trepidatious. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about though is all the different kinds of fear and what they may stop you from doing. You know, if you're frightened of something, there's usually a reason for it. Uh, deep seated or not you know usually it's just that you're worried about an outcome you're um, you're genuinely afraid you're going to be hurt in some way um, both physically or mentally um, also sometimes if it's to do with uh, you know having a confrontation people tend to shy away from confrontations because basically they don't know what's going to happen they may not be able to control the situation and a lot of time fear is bred because people want to control something and you can't always control every situation so I'm sat outside here, you know, butterflies in my stomach, wondering, you know, what the end result will be. I haven't had a root canal, I don't think. Um, so I don't know whether they're painful or not. I imagine there's anaesthetic involved. Otherwise, you know, that would be a bit barbaric. But, you know, driving over here today, the, my first thought was I'm a bit afraid of this. You know, I'm a bit, you know, I'm a bit worried by it. I mean, fear is a strange thing, right? So there are many different levels of fear. Today is like, this won't stop me from doing anything. But what it might do is, you know, just slow me down a bit, walk into the door. There are certain situations where, however, you are so afraid of something that you hide from it. Um, and that can be anything from a confrontation to you know to something you're genuinely afraid of doing you know what fear is though don't you it's your brain trying to limit what you do uh to keep you safe um your brain is basically a health and safety monitor inside your own skull so obviously if you're going to go and jump off a cliff with a bungee strap attached to you your brain's going to say uh that's not the best way to go is it but also what your brain can do it can free you from that fear you can think your way through it i spent a lot of my time um about 15 years ago i spent you know two full years afraid every day uh, for my safety, for who was coming for me, who and what was going to happen, you know, what, what situation I was going to put myself in. And that fear was crippling. It, it meant that I didn't want to leave the house, you know, even to go food shopping or something. Basically, I, I was living in a psychosis. I was living in a world where um, things that weren't real had taken over in my brain because of substance abuse, because of lack of sleep, because though I was in a situation where I was fearful. Um, I won't go into details. Basically, I had a confrontation with some people you don't want to have a confrontation with, and there were threats issued. And from those threats, basically, that created a situation of fear that I found it very difficult to get out of. That was then exacerbated by narcotics. So when you take drugs, um, you have uh, you know the bliss of the moment, as it were, and then normally you have a day's rest where you feel terrible, like a big hangover, and then you get then you get come down. You get a situation where it's irrational. Nothing is rational. You are frightened of everything. You know, I once cried at the Hovis advert uh, on Come Down because basically I was upset for the kid who had to push his bike up that massive hill. Okay? That's how irrational and weird that is. Okay? So fear, you can control fear by confronting your fear. Whatever frightens you, and I'm not saying if you're frightened of spiders, go and pick one up, because I am frightened of spiders, and I'm not going to go and pick one up. What I am saying, though, is you can limit how you react. So if you have a, a vitriolic reaction, if you have a reaction that's so strong that it then dictates how you act, then what you need to do is you need to put yourself outside of a situation and formulate some kind of plan that stops you being ruled by fear. Fear is a terrible thing. It really does take control of what you do and who you are. And if you're not careful, then the fear will limit your life. I can't give you any, you know, any psycho babble about how to get out of fear. But what I can tell you is what worked for me. And what worked for me was looking at it rationally, taking out your fear. What are you afraid of? 
you know, I, to be fair, you know, if you do confront sometimes the things that you're afraid of, you know, face to face, i.e. people that you're worried about are going to do something, you know, obviously don't put yourself in a position where they're going to, you know, do you harm. But if if you don't really think that that situation exists, go and talk to them or just send them a message. In this day and age, you don't have to talk to anyone face to face. And I think that might be part of the problem. Try and put yourself in a position where you're in control of your fear. Yes, you might be worried about what's going to happen, but then control it. Lead yourself by the nose. Don't be led by other people. And then slowly but surely that fear dissipates. And more and more you'll be in control of your own life. At least I was, so I hope that works for you too. Sometimes you should listen to your fear because uh, that wasn't nice. And I'm very numb now. So I have to go to work talking like an idiot. Lovely. Uh, what, could you could you just subscribe to my channel? That would be amazing. Up here is yesterday's video. And over here is one that YouTube will pick for you because they know more about you than I do.